Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another day in Vlogmas. Today, we are gonna be talking about my top 10 beauty purchases of 2022. I believe it was Kelly Gooch I first saw do this video and I think it was last year, possibly two years ago. I will still be doing my 2022 favorites and I will likely include 2021 favorites in that video as well because I didn't do a 2021 favorites last year. But I do have 10 products that I purchased this year but didn't necessarily release this year. And I have some makeup. I also have some non-makeup but still beauty related. And if I were to look at everything that I purchased beauty wise throughout the year, these are like top my top 10 standouts. So if you're interested in seeing which ones those are, stay tuned first if you have yet to subscribe to my channel and you like project painting content or just chit chatting about makeup, I would love if you'd consider subscribing before moving on. And other than that, let's jump into the video. All right, you guys, I will also be doing a year-end palette ranking video. So I didn't want to include any eyeshadow palettes in this video because I feel like I could just like see myself. That could end up being total chaos because I love eyeshadow palettes so much. I didn't feel like I should include eyeshadow with this, but I wanted to give two honorable mentions because there are two indie brands of eyeshadow that I brought into my collection this year, and I'm so happy to have tried these these brands out and tested the formulas and I love these eyeshadow palettes. So up first I have this one from Danessa Myricks. It is the Lightwork Volume 3. I can't even like describe to you how unique this palette is. It does not do like I can't do this palette justice. I do have swatches that I took earlier in the summer that like kind of you can kind of see the flip in the video. So I will insert that over here. But these are just like the most unique, beautiful multi-chromes I have ever seen in my life. If you have been considering a Danessa Myricks palette, it is an investment, but I feel like it's worth it because I truly don't have any eyeshadows quite like this in my collection. So I'm so happy about that. And then I did try Cleota Cosmetics for the first time in 2022, and I purchased the Dragon Fruit palette. And I am so glad to have finally gotten to experience Cleota uh, shadows. There are so many different formulas and textures in this palette, and I just had so much fun playing around with this eyeshadow palette that I wanted to give that a shout out because those are definitely highlights of my beauty purchases this year as well, along with some other palettes, but just hold up for my palette ranking video. All right, I'm pulling everything in front of me. I'm gonna save, maybe I'll save makeup for last. So let me first jump into, I have one skincare item and I'm so glad that I purchased this this year. It is the Pharmacy 10% Niacinamide Night Mask. I don't know what happened this year. It could be that I, well, one, so stressed out. Two, probably drinking more caffeine than I ever have in my entire life, which is not the most healthy. And then I already struggled to like intake the correct amount of water, but my skin got even drier than it normally was or has been in the past. And I was like, what the heck? I literally don't know what to do. I will say I also didn't have a great skincare routine. Like I was, not always being good about doing my full routine in the morning and at night. So I purchased this one from pharmacy and I will say I use this probably two times a week. I use it at night. I do my skincare routine and then I put this on as a last step. The smallest amount of this goes the longest way. And then I just rinse this off like in the morning when I wash my face. It just leaves my skin so much more hydrated and plump. It has made such a difference in my skin um, like the dryness, but it also but also the texture as well um, And I've just been super happy with this purchase from pharmacy. So wanted to shout that out for all my dry skin galleys out there um, Purchased cinema secrets Makeup brush cleaner the quick dry formula for the first time this year and this has been such a game changer now I still am not perfect at keeping my brushes clean, but literally when I do my makeup I just leave like I have the little tin next to me and like quickly clean my brushes as I go. And it's like the literal easiest thing ever. And it truly is like almost instant drying. Like I can dip my brush in, use it, then use this, rinse it off on a towel and I can instantly go in with that brush again. It's such a game changer. The best brush cleaner, like instant brush cleaner I've ever tried. So if you have not tried Cinema Secrets, 
girl you gotta check it out a fragrance i purchased this year um love this so much for a summer scent i will say it's not like the most long lasting scent i've ever used but i freaking adore this it is the ellis brooklyn sun fruit perfume now i have put this away because for me this is totally a summertime scent but I don't even, I don't know how to describe scents at all, but it just truly smells like the sweet summertime sunshine to me. I love this. I purchased the travel size first and then went on to purchase the full size and I'm so happy. So excited for summer. Not only to pull this out, but also for the sun, but also to pull this back out because that was a standout favorite of the year. And the last non-makeup product, you guys, I found a new favorite self tanner. Now I will say I really, maybe does Target sell tanning mitts? I'm not sure, but I need a new tanning mitt so badly. But the Bali Body, this self tanning mousse. So I will say, so Isle of Paradise has historically been my favorite go-to self tanner. And in a pinch or in a hurry, I still will use that because this obviously has color guard. So this one takes a little bit more effort or a little bit more planning on my part, but I do feel like I like the results of the Bali body better than even the Isle of Paradise self tanning water. I get mine in the ultra dark cause I like to look like I have been, you know, on survivor for 39 days and just soaking up the sun. But it, the Bali Body self tanning mousse, it also lasts the longest that I've ever had any self tanning mousse last, on, self tanner, um, last on me. And it wears away super gracefully. I just, I love this so much. This is my second or third bottle of this. And again, I just discovered it this year. So in the final six products are all makeup products. Let's just, I have two lip products. So this was like a spur of the moment decision. I don't even know if I like saw someone talk about this shade specifically, or I just happened to be somewhere and pick this up, but it is the Milani. I forget what the actual name of like the lipstick line is, but this is in the shade Tease. This reminds me so much of, first of all, the Tarte, um, Rainforest of the Sea lip gloss or not lip gloss lipstick line like the formulas are very similar in that they're more of like a satin they're hydrating it's smooth and then this reminds me so much of rum punch from that line which is like my favorite lipstick of freaking all time so very happy that I discovered this um, it's like the perfect brownie nude shade love it so much and I feel like lipsticks are not something I get super excited about. Like I have too many in my collection, but lipstick in general is not something I'm like, oh my gosh, I found this and I love it. So that's saying something. And then this, I love so much. This is the Makeup by Mario Moisture Glow Lip Plumping Serum. I have mine in Apricot Glow. I'm going to put a little bit on. So this is one of the ones that like you can't twist back down once you twist it up and I don't know what it is I love about this I do love the shine that it gives to the lips it has like a mint tingling sensation but nothing too intense I just love the shine that it gives my lips I want more shades but this is more expensive so I and I, my lip collection is way too large so I should wait until I finish this to purchase another but I am interested in in buying more of these down the road and when I look at everything that I purchased this year, this is one of my favorites. So this is the newest product to my makeup collection, but I couldn't not talk about this because where has this been all my life? It is a cobalt blue eyeliner from uh, House Labs. I have blue eyes and for some reason I just love the cobalt blue in my waterline. I feel like it makes my eyes just a little bit like punch a little bit harder and Honestly, like if you don't want to spend the 22, I'm sure there's probably other cobalt blue liners out there It's really the addition of a cobalt blue Eyeliner the formula is really good too though. It glides on really nicely and I feel like it does stay in my waterline all day There is on the other side. There is like a paint brush like a brush as well Not that I really care about that But if that's something that's important to you just thought I'd shout that out there But so happy to have a cobalt blue eyeliner in my life and I have not been using granite today I have a brown in my waterline. I haven't been using brown as much because I've been reaching for my cobalt blue. And then another eye product, <laughs> just like such a simple product, but this is the e.l.f. It's from the e.l.f. Cookies and Dreams collection. I know this collection was limited edition, but I feel like I've still seen this like in Walmart. Not that I've been to Walmart in a while, but this is in the shade Sweet Cream. It's this really stark white shade and in the inner corner, this is just perfection 
I love an inner corner highlight and sometimes I feel like my inner corner highlight, like I'll put a shadow in there and it's gone 30 minutes later, but I'll either put this down and just use it as a matte white or I'll layer whatever shadow I wanna use in my inner corner on top. And I feel like this kind of grips onto it so it lasts a little bit longer. Where has this been all my life? If you have the NYX jumbo pencil and like milk or whatever, I feel like it really does the same thing, but I just like the e.l.f. one more. I have both. Um, so super happy with that purchase this year. The Charlotte Tilbury Sun Kissed Glow Bronzer. When this released, I was like, I don't need that, but I do because I love bronzer so much. And thankfully I purchased this right away. It's like a cream to powder formula. I have mine in the shade two medium. I also love the powder Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. Charlotte Tilbury does bronzer quite well. And this is just, it's such a unique formula. It's so easy to work with, so easy to blend. Um, you can use it with a brush, with a sponge. Sometimes I'll tap it on with my finger. I love it so much. I love the tone. I love the texture. I like the way that it sets down. It's super long lasting, very expensive, but in my opinion, one of my top 10 beauty purchases of 2022. And then the 10th and final product that I have to talk about is the Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette. This I believe released at the end of 2021 and I wanted it, but I talked myself out of it. And then I purchased it maybe in like, maybe during the Sephora VIB sale, the spring one like around that time. And I'm so mad at myself that I didn't purchase this right away because these two shades specifically are like miracle magic workers when it comes to eyeshadow. You can put either of these two shades on your eyes and it'll look like you literally spent hours doing your eye makeup because there's just something so special about them. It's not just like a metallic shade. It's not just like a lid topper. It's not like a metallic in that it's super punchy and like it's super punchy and just like, in a metallic way but it's punchy in like an ethereal but like really ethereal way i don't know how to describe it i love both of them so much i also really love this highlighter i think it's beautiful the blush i like it's not like my favorite blush shade of all time but i like the addition of the blush and then you just have some perfect like brown mattes i've taken this traveling this is such a good travel palette in my opinion because you have everyday easy eyeshadow but you can spice it up to make it look like you spent hours on your shadow. You have a blush, you have a highlighter, and then you really just need a pack of bronzer. If you're sleeping on this one, I recommend waking up and going to purchase that. That is definitely one of my favorites of the year. But after that, that is going to conclude this video, my top 10 purchases plus two eyeshadow palettes of 2022. I would love to know in the comments below, what are some of your favorite purchases of the year? It doesn't have to be releases from this year just beauty products that you discovered this year your top 10 let me know you don't even have to let me know your top 10 top three top one whatever leave me a comment down below thank you so much for sticking around to watch today's video and for supporting my channel as you guys always do i love you guys so much and i'll catch you in my next video bye